Rebecca draws her last breath, and Will takes Rowena's hand as the heavens open and rain pours down. The assembled crowd scatters, the world somehow falling away around them, thunder crashing, shaking the foundations and taking the 12th century with it, until the medieval spectators become 19th century commuters, scuttling for cover in the railway station. Will raises his sword to the sky, lightning strikes, and he too seems to change, the sword becoming an umbrella. The scene changes again, and his body convulses from the shock. He falls to his knees on the factory floor. In the factory, all is as it was, but not for Will. Rowena greets him cheerfully. Clearly, she knows nothing of his medieval adventure. And there, on her father's arm, is Rebecca. You're alive. Of course I am. To Will's even greater surprise, Cedric tells the assembled workers and foremen that his son's management of the ailing factory has been a runaway success. Apparently, his strange ideas about respect and fairness convert very nicely to profits. He says he perceives a change in his son. The boy who left home has returned a man. We all need heroes, or oh, so they say, to shine a light, to hold the torch, to show the way. We 